Happy to loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My low and slow loon. <laughs> He's low yeah, and slow. And a little slow. slow. I like to get low and slow <laughs> loon. <laughs> he can be very slow, especially when we're done eating. Yeah. Because what we are going to be eating a little later on yes. is so good. You are going to. So good. A boy. little later on. Well, okay. This is an, it's something you do in advance. We're using our favorite contraption. Yeah. We're doing our slow cooker brisket. brisket. Yes! Oh, it's so good. Out of all of your brisket recipes, out of his brisket recipe, recipes, this is my all-time favorite. I didn't even know that. Yes, so you now, did. I, well, we've been doing this for years and years and years. I think it was probably was one of the first things I ever did do in our slow cooker. So, I and it's so good. We come back to it it's all the time. It's so good. So we're so happy to uh, share it with you. We have several brisket recipes on the blog. This one is a little different, and I just but think it's, it's simple. It's simple. It's yeah. easy to make, and the flavor is really just. Yeah. Profoundly delicious. Okay, yes. so let's first of all just show them that gorgeous. Cut I know this meat. is a good. This is great. We're going to talk about that. this in just a moment. Mm -hmm. well, let's get you get going on the sauce that this is going to slow cook yes. in for hours. This sauce is so no, let's good. Let's do the liquids first. Oh, okay. No. So we've okay. got one of these is soy sauce. Okay. They all look. <laughs> One's right. so let me just tell you what yes. they are. So that is a quarter cup of soy sauce. Okay. The, the flavor combination of this, you're gonna you're gonna be like, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> and that's soy sauce. Now we've got three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Oh yes. Balsamic and soy together. Wow. Mm. Like Use good quality. Um, and then we wow, got. Wow, I can smell that. I know, I know. So and good. then two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Sauce. So this. Packs a punch with flavor, but in a really, really good wow. way. Wow. Okay, and then we've got two teaspoons of dry um, mustard. mustard. Okay, and yes. then you've got now all you got to do is just get a nice little whisk and get that uh, to to dissolve. Yes. And uh, then that's going to be poured over this meat. Okay. Oh. Let's talk about brisket. Let's yes. talk. So whenever if you go to the butcher and you tell them you want a butcher, they're going to say you want a whole brisket. And for this, you don't want a whole brisket. A brisket um, comes in is two different cuts of meat, or you, there are two different cuts of meat that you get from a whole brisket. Either the flat piece, uh, which is this right here, or what is called the point. Uh, the flat is what you typically see in a supermarket. It's a little, usually larger, usually around three pounds. Um, and it's what we're going to be using here. So um, it comes so from juicy. it is well, it, it, well, it <laughs> is, but it's a, the brisket is really a tough cut of meat because it comes from the like the chest part of the cow up by its legs. So it's what's considered sort of like the high movement muscle. Oh, so it builds muscle, it, yeah. which is means if we were just to like quickly sear this and eat it, it'd be like eating leather. Yeah. But because it's got that muscular tissue in it, when it slow cooks, it is super so duper flavorful good. and so tender. Yes. Okay. Now, so this is the, the bottom side of it. There is something that's called a fat cap. <laughs> I'm very familiar with the I, fat cap. I know. Cap. I've, always, <laughs> I've always said I wish I could trim off my fat cap. Um, but anyway, so you, the, the fat, whenever this is cooked, we're going to cook with the, the fat cap on, on, on the top uh, facing up because what happens as that slow cooks, that fat just sort of penetrates down into that meat, making it super flavorful. It keeps it really, really moist mm. and really, really tender. Mm. But you don't want to have too much fat. So a good rule of thumb. Um, is uh, you know if you go to your sometimes it, when you're at the supermarket there's like no fat that's right, okay right. but the fat really does add a yeah. lot of flavor and but you don't want to have too much so when you, if I go to my butcher and I say I want the flat cut and um, trim it off all the fat off except for about anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch um, so if you but if you get it back and you find big old layers of fat then just all you got to do is just get a knife be careful get a nice sharp knife and then just trim away that fat ah, and I wish it was so easy I know I know just <laughs> trim it away you know now what you do want it this is a tip I picked up I can't even remember where but um, see these are like little windows of the of the meat in there what that does is it um, allows the seasoning that we're gonna add um, to really seep also down it penetrates through the meat if it's just on top of that fat it's Gonna have a harder time penetrating through. Okay, I think I've covered that well. Oh, so, that's so I, mm, I, know. I can't even wait. So now one of the great uh, seasoning components of this is black pepper. I just think the black pepper matches beautifully against uh, those those um, liquids that Wesley put together. And then the other really really key part of this is garlic. So I've got some chopped oh, gar garlic. minced garlic here. Now I'm going to, well, I'm using this hand and this hand is staying clean. So there everyone at go. home watching at home, <laughs> I'm not touching my meat yes. and I'm putting it back in here. <laughs> I've been touching my garlic, but this is a, a do away, a that's throw away okay. thing. Yes. Of, you didn't, that's not your main, this isn't that's my not main, your main pepper stash. It's not, it's not. <laughs> I go through pepper. Here, let me do this. Okay. Yes. Thank you. You got it. 
And you, this is typically, I would say this is about two tablespoons of black pepper. We like to liberally do the black pepper because it really, so it just adds so much so flavor. Good. Okay, and then again, we're gonna be washing our hands. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use both hands. Kind of press that uh, garlic into it because you really want it to ad adhere. And then we're even going to just for even added Flavor. flavor. We're gonna add, just do a few slits in here. I just do that. Sometimes people do this and they put garlic down the yeah, other slits. Yeah, some garlic there. Which you can do that, but we're, you, we're, I don't want to completely cut the thing up. Right, um, right. So, okay, so that's good. So now you, you're ready. Yes. Okay, we've Voila. Got, look, we, <laughs> wow. <laughs> we cook with our, with our slow cooker so much, it just appears. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to add this into our Come slow cooker. Come on. Again, I'm just using my fingers. Yep. And I'm gonna go wash them. Okay, now Loon, if you want to just pour that sauce, you got it. Right. Oh my God. This sauce. And this is so see how easy this is. It literally took minutes to do this. There we okay, go. Okay, now the next part does not definitely not take minutes. It takes hours. They don't call it a slow cooker for nothing. This is and this is so. This is such torture because the house starts to smell. But see, I, I, it is torture. But, but that yeah. there's also something fun about it because you know. Okay, we're gonna you just you know set it and forget <laughs> it. And um, because this goes anywhere from eight to ten hours, I like it to go ten hours just because it's so tender. Um, mm -hmm. But you know, like if you do it in the morning, you know, then you're gonna come home. Um, if, if you're going to work, but anyway, for dinner, you can just smell that smell when you walk into the house. Or we, a lot of times, will set it the night before, and then we're gonna have it for lunch the next day. It's just spectacular. So I've got it set. I've got it set on 10 hours. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna, oh. like we say, you set it, forget it. Yes. And then, and then we're gonna make a, a, like a little, just kind of a sauce, a gravy out of that, the juices, oh. and it's gonna be <laughs> amazing. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, go to bed. Let's go to bed, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful, beautiful day it, it is. It is gorgeous and it smells amazing. I'm telling you, we say that all the time, but I do <laughs> think that of all of the dishes we've ever created, the smell that this roast, that this yes. brisket makes is just and, to and, wake up to it. Yes. <sighs> Actually waking up in the night <sighs> and then getting some water and then smelling that, forget it's about always, it. It's, it's, for me <laughs> now, it's like when I would waiting for Santa Claus. I'd be so excited. <laughs> okay, so let's, right, let's, 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 let's do the big reveal. Yes. Okay, obviously we've, we've taken it out we're going to show you what that looked like in just a moment yeah but here it is look at that look. isn't that gorgeous that is wonderful that is a beautiful beautifully cooked uh, brisket <laughs> so what we did is now again you can do this in the morning and have it for dinner or like what we did you can um, turn it on the night before and then let it go and then it's going to be finished by the next morning so you just can keep it in the warm setting on your uh, slow cooker which is what we did i've got a dog back here <laughs> i know that is licking <laughs> we're, we're all licking our chops so then uh when now it's time uh, you just it's tender but it should stay together but um this is a longer uh, uh, cut of meat so i used a couple of sp spatulas to just kind of yeah. carefully get underneath it and then remove it from the slow cooker and put it on a cutting board but if it falls apart it's it's still going to the same it's place. It's not right. It's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> that means it's just so tender that you know you could just eat it. Yeah, with your hands, with your fingers. <laughs> you don't even need utensils. Okay, so then, but now what we're going to do is we're going to tent it. It, uh, it lets those juices sort of redistribute. Plus, we got to make some. We got to do some sauce. Yes. So let's get saucy. So now what we're going to do is we that juice that is left over is just mm. unbelievable. It's it's like an au jus. Yes. Uh, all juice. So what we're, what I do to, to get the perfect sauce is I put a sieve or like a, yeah, just a sieve over some sort of a bowl or a large measuring cup. And then I just transfer that with, with oven mitts, transfer that um, out of the pot into the, through the sieve into the bowl. Okay, so now there. So that it, captures everything that you don't want in your sauce. Right, right. So yeah. that gets or any kind of hard solid, you know, some of that garlic that you don't want in there anymore. Mm -hmm. um, and then now this is going to remember the fat cap. It's going to have rendered some grease, and the, some of the, we don't want that so much in our sauce. So what I like to do is I use this thing called a fat separator. We've talked about that before. <laughs> and um, there's, we always talk about a fat separator. Uh, I know. I, <laughs> but anyway, um, so you can get. They're easy to find. We got a link to it on the blog. Um, so they're really cool. They're really. 
it, it's a it's a it's an, a great invention. So yeah. uh, all you do is you then you just pour that liquid into that fat separator separator, and it's like physics. The the, the fat, fat rises to top. the top, and then the 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 way that it's at the bottom, the little spout, it it's just the holds, good stuff. The, so you just kind of gently pour that in until you get to where you're just it's the clear fat, and you don't want that. And then you just uh, you're, then you're get done. Rid of the fat. So, you just we, get rid of the fat. Just get it. Wouldn't it be great if it was that easy? <laughs> and then so I put that into a, a, a saucepan, and then you know you could we're going to heat it and we're going to let it come to a simmer for just a few minutes and that's what that's going to do is just further intensify mm -hmm. those flavors um, and this is what it looks yeah, like yeah so oh, that so is this is not like your typical gravy where you know it's it's super thick it's more like an like i said an au jus sauce mm -hmm. so okay i have talked way too yes, much okay so now we're that ready bad to boy. cut i am starving so this is ready it's to... lunchtime and i'm starving i know well when the <laughs> smell i love having brisket for lunch i know i know well it's like you know the perfect so this is it's probably going to fall apart on me it's so tender well you're doing that i'm going to spoon us up look some, at that some uh is that potatoes. not beautiful oh my gosh gorgeous I'm yeah okay so we got now this we got some uh green beans and some mashed potatoes That's you right. gotta have have with your brisket with your course. sunday dinner mm -hmm. so this is yeah we did some our buttery beautiful best ever mashed potatoes i'm just gonna do that right there this is That's so perfect. tender okay i'm just gonna here Hold i'll on, give I'm you making room for everything i'm gonna give you these two slices right here okay which one is yours this one okay thank you oh my gosh that is just incredible a little mashed potatoes <laughs> okay well so you, you thank would, you I'm you sorry. would be terrible like at a buffet like, I, people would be like okay well <laughs> are we ever gonna eat sorry <laughs> okay here here this is wow mine. thanks so much for the okay there you go Okay, <laughs> there it is, folks. There it is. That is incredible. All right. Oh, thanks. Well, <laughs> now you got you got to pour some sauce. I know. I just want to clean this up first. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And now, this lovely sauce. I didn't. I didn't get very many potatoes. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you rushed me. <gasps> Look at that. You that guys. is amazing. Okay. Okay. Mm, yeah. This sauce. You talk and talk and talk, and then you rush me. Well, See? Okay. See how it is, folks? Welcome to my world. Oh, it's so <laughs> difficult. Okay. Wow, that looks amazing. Yes. Look how tender that is. That is you oh, look at that. Do look not at serve this with a steak knife. I mean, serve, serve it with a butter wow. knife. That is incredible. I am so salivating. <laughs> I feel like there should be trumpets playing or a fanfare or something. Oh, that was so. <gasps> we don't need trumpets. We have the loon. It's that cool. is heavenly. That, I say it every time. That's heavenly. That is like, I love. It's really, 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 really good. <laughs> I love the, the crust that it kind of gets on the outside from like the pepper. Kind of like a bark almost. And yes. <gasps> So tender and flavorful. The, fla the, the flavor, the flavor, it you. really just, it's a combination of, oh, I made this, we made this the other day for oh. my, mom, my mom and dad, and my mom could not believe how good, it, oh. how tender it is. Wow, y'all. I mean, the seasoning is perfect. But you, and you know, you put a lot of garlic on there, but you can't taste it. And I mean, it's not overly spicy because of the pepper. It oh, yeah. Now this is 100% Luna proof. Yes! Certainly. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, I should have said a thousand. I was just sort of oh. thinking you would. You well, said this is your favorite. <laughs> it is my favorite. Oh my gosh. It's, I mean, talk about melting. Well, I haven't tasted it yet. I'm like, who cares about right, the right, green beans? In my mouth. <laughs> who cares about the green beans and the mashed potatoes? That is the most tender brisket. Mm. Oh my gosh. And that sauce, the, the, the au jus sauce. Oh. Look. Don't mind us while we just sit yeah, here. Look, y'all. Mmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now that, <laughs> I can't believe you only gave that 100%. <laughs> I would have given it 5 million. I'm tired. Well. <laughs> now you can get this recipe and many more on howtobeataloon.com. <laughs> You're tired. You slept 12 hours. I, <laughs> anyway, go to our social media. Like us. Share us. Come over for that lunch. That sauce. Sorry. That sauce is so good. It really makes you feel mm. saucy. It is yes, just, come it's, over for lunch. Yes, come on over. Let's, Wear a mask. Yeah. <laughs> With a big hole in it so you can... Mm. Yeah, oh my what good that'll do. I know. Oh, stay safe, everybody. We love you. Make this brisket and everybody will love you. The whole block will love you because they'll smell it. I know, they'll <laughs> love you and they'll say, love me tender. <laughs> hey,
everybody. Hi guys. Now if you want to be a part of the Loon Fun, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you won't miss a single recipe. That's right. Oh, and speaking of recipes, if you want another amazing recipe yeah. like this, then just click right here. Yeah, click. Click. Subscribe. It's so much fun. <laughs>